Welcome back everybody once again to Galaroth, a hardcore Minecraft CTM map. I am TJ the Obscure here with you. We are going to place the cyan wool so that I can get some health back. Boom, ba -da -boom, boom, boom. Then we're going to head back into the green wool area. I did do some off work uh, exploration just to try to figure out where we're supposed to go next. And I discovered a new area. We kind of got a glimpse of it last episode. Uh, but the area has quite the twist to it, and you will be able to see that at the end of this here montage.
All right, so uh, so yeah, had some close calls and stuff, but ultimately we were successful at kind of finding our way, and we also unlocked a shortcut. Uh, Mr. Spider, you can boom go that way. Skelly's over there. I believe the shortcut is somewhere roundabouts here. I did make a path, kind of, sort of. Um, but the twist is that. Oh, gosh dang it. We have to bring along with us some fire resistance minecarts. Where the heck did I come out of, man? Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I'm not even sure really how to respond to it, but, um, that is, that is what we're gonna have to deal with. And, uh, I did find some diamond right here, in fact, and made some diamond booties with my diamond. I kind of forgot how I got over to this place now. But I think we just kind of followed, or went up here, didn't I? I do believe I did. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be... Did I go up? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where the heck I went. Hopefully we don't have to go down this path too much. Also, when I was editing, I noticed there might be a location in that direction as well. But, uh... Gosh dang it, I'm so lost at this point. Where the heck did I go, you guys? I guess I dug around this way. It was not easy to get here, and navigating this this place has just kind of been a big a big pain. Which I'm sure was totally intentional. Uh, we got the cool looking bridge and cool looking dungeon. Uh, but of course, to take on the dungeon, we gotta mess around with these fire resistance things. So just a brief update on the um, on the channel right now is uh, Galaroth is going to be my main series. I may start another map here soon, but um, I'm going to put Untold Stories 6 on hold for now. And maybe, you know, for the foreseeable future at least, just because I'm, I'm not really digging the map all that much. Uh, and so we're just going to... Instead of instead of not <laughs> just playing something I don't enjoy, we're just not going to do it. Um, yeah. The fire resistance last. I think it lasted for like 50 seconds, right? About 40 seconds. And it seems like we have a limited supply. I'm really hoping we don't have to build our own carts, but that is totally possible that that's the case. Um, and I guess I'll take some extra blocks. I'm really not entirely sure how to go about this. I've played areas that utilize minecarts previously. Um, I think there was one in Ragecraft 3. You know what, I'm kind of curious. Well, it's going to take 45 seconds, but I'm kind of curious what exactly happens. Oh yeah, it looks like it keeps going on in that direction, too. Gosh, I kind of just want to, like, build the rail cart up to the top or something. <laughs> just... Oh, okay. I may put this series on hold, too. I think I think the big problem is that I just played a 1.8 map, and 1.8 is just so much, so much more fun than... And 1.9 and beyond. That playing these maps is just kind of not as uh not as enjoyable. But I want to see what the heck this flame thing does. Where do we start to get the flame exactly? The heat or whatever. I guess I should try to stick to the uh, will will perish. It says. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I can always run back. And get the fire... I mean, is it like insta-death? If it's insta-death, I don't even... I don't even know. It'd be nice if there was like a marker of like where the heck we're supposed to go. Or of like where it begins exactly. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. It is going to do a number to my armor. 
For my diamond boots, I saw the feather falling, so I went for it, but I ended up with, um... Oh, with... Bum, 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 the fire protection, which for this map is probably not that big of a deal, but... It's, uh, not ideal. This is, this is really, really what we're doing, huh? Creeper Blast could destroy this, which means we might just, like, insta-die. I'm, I mean, not insta-die, but we might not have time to get back. Uh, let's destroy you. So, like, is each one going to be its own path or something? I'm not entirely sure. I follow what's supposed to be happening here. And are we really... We're really doing this. Oh gosh, don't do that, guy. I'm hoping that all the paths eventually lead to the same place. We shall have to wait and see. Whoa. Why am I on fire? Why is that on fire? Um... What in the heck? Okay... I'm... yeah... Uh, I don't know if that was a... natural spawn or what. I'm thinking that it's from a spawner, but... Hard to know for sure. I have to say, Kai, I'm not a fan of this whatsoever. Oh, are you serious? Gosh dang it. I know that we could make, we could build the, um, the power rails to help get this up, but... Please don't take out my thing there, guy. Let's destroy that, and let's hope that this is not primed. Okay. The blaze can also, I think, shoot the um, shoot the minecart, and it will take it out. Are you from a spawner? Yes, you are. Let's keep going. This is going to be kind of slow going. I might edit this. Okay, there's definitely something in that direction, too. We already got green, though. This this either has to be red or black. I'm imagining that that's black over there, which makes this red. So then I wonder what's further along the path. Well, maybe there really isn't a path. Whoa! Um... Okay, that seems kind of odd. But sure, why not? I'm having problems hearing things. Because of the spawner, I think. Because of the potions dropping. Like, uh... Oh, like, usually creepers, you can hear the little pitter-patter of their footsteps, but at the moment, I'm struggling to do that. Alright, um... I think they'll keep firing regardless. Weird bug with blaze. In this version, I do believe run up and destroy the spawner. And... Things are blowing up. Fantastic. There's no, no other spawner? Okay. This little thing right above me makes me a little nervous. Oh yeah, let's keep going. Seems like it's basically going to be like this, like... Go a little ways, encounter some mobs, kill them, go a little more, go a little further, kill some more mobs, and so on and so forth. Um... I don't know where this blaze is, I'm thinking that he's down here maybe? Does this have flame? No. Too bad. Oh, come back, thing. 
Let's keep keep moving on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. This is um I don't yeah, I really I I really question your uh your thought process here. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Just Oh, don't take out my thing, please. Nobody knock me down. Let's take you out. And keep moving along. I hear creepers falling. But I do not see anything. There's a chest right there. I was pretty certain I saw a, uh, a spider as well, but maybe not. Oh, and this gas ball above me is making me very nervous. Very, very nervous. So I could have just connected the one below me to this one and it would have worked out the same, right? Could have bypassed a large chunk. Same thing with this, too. I am genuinely tempted to just go in and do that. Just... Oh man, okay. Uh... I'm not sure where he is now. I'm pretty sure he was above us. But not seeing anything at the moment. I don't have any knockback resistance, do I? That would probably be helpful. Oh, don't run into the TNT, please. Uh, let's scout ahead a little bit. Um, okay. I thought for sure we were going to run into something there. There is a spawner to our left. I do believe. Oh, I can't see anything with the fire, man. Oh, okay. Please go away. I'm almost certain that there must be something above us, but. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Um, there we go. Alright, let's take a little break and try to take some of these guys out, I suppose. Not entirely sure what I want to do here, to be honest. Guess we'll just keep going. Um. All right, fine then. I can't see where this skelly is, but I definitely hear him. Hear them, I think. Is what I meant. Oh, they're below me. guy. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Um. Oh, gosh dang it. I'm also just not playing very well today, I don't think. All right. Keep going. Oh, why do these things always have to look look the same? It's it's the light brown that I'm looking for. Started to get a little low on blocks, so figured I should go ahead and stop and grab some real quick. It's also it's kind of bright in my room, so I'm having 
trouble seeing because it's so dark. Combine with the particles and the fire and all the things, it is quite, quite annoying. Uh, let's just go ahead and take these guys out like a so and keep uh, moving on. I don't, which I'm assuming we want to go that way, yeah? And that is the direction that we're going. Can we get by the gas spawner before it spawns another one? I'm hoping that they're all just kind of pointed in the right direction, yes? Uh, one block at a time. Okay, that was exciting. Uh, tripwire. No, no tripwire. I uh, hear Enderman. Uh, let's put a torch down so that we can maybe see this from a distance if need be. Are you serious? Are you serious? Really? Oh my gosh, okay. You know... Uh, okay. I don't need any of this stuff. I cannot believe that, you guys. I don't know if I'm actually gonna light her out of here, but... I mean, I guess we still need to make it back, technically, but I don't think that'll be too hard, right? And we can always uh, elytra once we get to the other side here. Although I'm a little nervous about doing that simply because I'm I'm notoriously bad with the whole elytra thing. Um, okay, let's move a little further out. What's the purpose of you guys even being there exactly? I don't think they can get up to me, right? We uh. Oh gosh, I forget that we can take we can still take fall damage if we uh if we land too too fast. I cannot believe that it was that easy. I mean we had maybe one scary moment and that's about it. Maybe two scary moments. Uh once again it goes that direction, but then we saw a giant tower over there. I'm thinking towers black wool. Um, and then, and then we'll be, we'll be done. Still no deaths. Red wool has been retrieved. We still have like five wool to place on the monument. I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and place some of them to see if we get any more buffs, like the absorption hearts. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to waste it. If, at this point, like, earlier in the map, if I had died, I was going to start over to see if we could get a deathless run. But at this point, if I die, I'm just going to complete the map. And I think it's pretty impressive that we've made it this far without dying. But I will, uh, I don't expect any difficulty. We didn't even take any damage. Again, that's just, that's insane. But, um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys back at the... Well, no, I'm just going to go ahead and call it an episode, I think. Yep, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.